welcome or welcome <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel so i thought today i would start filming like a reading vlog but like a how much i realistically read in a week as someone that works a full-time job just because i actually don't know how much i read in a week so i'm kind of doing this for myself <laughs> <laughs> and of course for you guys because I just want to see how much I do read in a week I know on the weekends and the days I work from home it's a lot more when I'm in the office I don't know how much I read so I'm just I'm curious to see and I think it'll be quite fun to film so it is currently what is it <laughs> it is currently Sunday 12 p.m. Mum and I are just about to go to a cafe. Come say hi, Mum. <laughs> this is hi. my beautiful mummy. <laughs> We're just about to go to a cafe. <laughs> We're just about to go to a cafe and do some reading together. I'm gonna start the Plated Prisoner series. So this is the first book in the series. It's Guild. I believe this is a dark fantasy romance and there's Faye involved. <laughs> Um, and there's Faye, so it just seems like it's right up my alley. I'm super intrigued about this. And mom is currently listening to The Infernal Devices. She's on the second book, um, but she listens to the audiobook, I think just because she gets a headache when reading. So we're just gonna go to a cafe, get some coffee, do some reading together, and I'll take you guys along with me. reading update so I'm only on page 28 of Guild I'm really enjoying it so far it's definitely like a darker fantasy romance and definitely R16 R18 no no you can be 16 you know what you google that don't listen to me because it could be R18 I don't care <laughs> but I would definitely say it's not appropriate for younger readers R15 you know, I really don't know, please Google, but definitely not appropriate if you are super young. I think the majority of the people that watch my videos are from 25 to 34, that's like the most common age. But I do see that there's some people that are like 13 to 17. So if you're one of those people, you may be too young to read this book. But hey, I can't control you. I'm really enjoying the writing so far. It's super fascinating because it's almost like a King Midas retelling. And if you don't already know, King Midas, everything he touches turns to gold. So this main girl, Auror, she's been held captive by him, but there's a bit of like Stockholm syndrome going on because she doesn't hate him. In fact, she like yearns for him and she wants his attention and like she just kind of wants him to love her or just like notice her, look at her, etc. But of course he's a king and he's very busy off doing his king duties. Um, so it's a super fascinating dynamic just because she doesn't hate him. In fact, yeah, she's, she kind of yearns for him. But I don't believe this is gonna be a love story between her and King Midas. We'll see, but that's the vibe I'm getting so far. It's currently 5 p.m. We went to the mall, I got my eyebrows threaded, I bought a new phone case. Um, we had some food, we were watching Gilmore Girls, but now I'm gonna have a decaf coffee because it's super comforting and do some more reading for a little bit. everyone so it is currently 8 08 a.m 
and it's Monday. So I work from home on Mondays and Fridays. So generally when I work from home, I can read a bit more just cause like, I can read on my breaks. If it's not too busy at work, like, I don't have any emails to respond to or nothing really going on, I can read. Yesterday I read 106 pages of Guild. I'm thoroughly enjoying this book so far. It's really, really good. And I'm excited to read some more. I know I'm enjoying it when I wake up looking forward to reading my book. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I don't start work until 9 a.m. So I'll make some coffee right now. And then that will give us about like 45 minutes or so to read once I finish making my coffee. I've only read like 10 pages today. It's been a very busy day at work. There's just like a lot going on, lots of emails to be sent, lots of things to organize. On my lunch break, I actually filmed a video. I filmed like a Kindle decorating all about my Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, just kind of like a, a Kindle sort of video. So I filmed that on my lunch. It is currently 3.30 p.m. It just got a little bit quiet at work. So I think I have like an hour break. I'm gonna use that time to edit my video because I wanna get my Kindle video up tonight. So I'll edit for like an hour or so and then edit again later tonight for an hour. Usually it takes me like two hours to edit, sometimes more, sometimes less depending on the video, but I have a feeling this one's gonna take me like around two hours. So not a lot of time for reading, <laughs> but I'll get some reading done before bed, which is usually when I read the most anyway. But Anyways, enough of me talking. <laughs> I'll edit my video and then I'll speak to you guys soon once I do some more reading. Hey guys, I just got home from work and it's currently 5 p.m. Well, about to be 5 p.m. And I haven't updated you guys since yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon. I'm so sorry, Tuesday was just not not Tuesday, Monday. <laughs> Monday was just not a good reading day for me. I read like 10 pages. I read, I read like six pages of Guild and then I started, this is just a book I got on Kindle Unlimited because I recently got Kindle Unlimited. It's Throttled, no, Throttled <laughs> by Lauren Asher. It's the first book in the Dirty Air series. I think it's like an F1 formula driving something. Um, and to be honest, I think I just got this book as something to kind of read to before I go to sleep and it did a good job. I read five pages and I was like, out. I'm gonna hopefully do a lot more reading today just because I really do want to finish this like in a couple of days because I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And I also have the second and the third book just waiting for me on my bookshelf. So that's so exciting. And yeah, we'll get some reading done. Hey guys, so it is currently 10 to 8 p.m. Um, I managed to read about 40 pages. It's getting really good and just I just don't know where the story is gonna go, so I'm really enjoying it. So I'm now on page 159, so I'm on chapter oh I'm on chapter 15. Um, I did have to go to the supermarket and then walk my dog and now I'm gonna make some dinner. I think I'm gonna make like a steak. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna make some steak and then I'm gonna have to shower and wash my hair So I probably won't have any time to read until just before bed So hopefully I can read like 50 60 pages tonight and then I would have read like a hundred pages today. So yeah Hey guys, sorry that my face looks so shiny um, I just showered washed my hair and I slathered on Vaseline all over my face. I do this like two or three times a week 
and like look it looks crazy right now but i wake up with like the most flawless skin when i do this um i do have dry skin so i don't know if that works on oily skin people but if you have dry skin like look it looks kind of crazy but i promise you tomorrow my skin is gonna look delicious delicious no flawless that's probably a better word anyway anyway <laughs> I'm now on chapter 19 of Guild, so I'm on uh, page 196. So, so far I've read, I've read around like 80 pages today, just over 80 pages. So we're doing really well. It is, where's my phone? What time is it? Where the hell's my phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. Oh my God. It is 10.30. So I'm just going to get in bed and do some more reading until I fall asleep. Um, if my partner and I turn off the lights, then I will read on my Kindle. And then if I read on my Kindle, I'll be reading Throttled by Lauren Asher. Just because it's nice and easy and it sent me to sleep yesterday. Not because it was boring. No. It's not boring at all. It's fun. But it's just like a nice easy read do you know what i mean nothing for my brain to kind of think too much about um so it just kind of eases you into sleep anyway i'll do some more reading and i'll speak to you guys tomorrow hello hello so it is currently wednesday 12 30 p.m i am actually in the office today however my office is really close to where i live so i just came home for my lunch and I don't have a meeting until 1.30, so I have almost an hour to kind of just have my lunch here and I might read a chapter or two. Um, I don't do this all the time, but I'll, like at least once a week I'll come home for my lunch break and typically I read, so today is the day. I do need to actually make some food though. I don't know what I'm in the mood for, but anyway, I thought I would update you guys on... Did I update you guys yesterday? I really can't remember. If I haven't, I'm now on chapter 23 of the book. So I read a little bit before bed. I think I haven't told you guys about this. I'm on chapter 23, page 231. So yesterday I read 120 pages. I kind of flew through it. This book is super fast paced. You are not bored at all at any given moment so really really good book just to kind of jump straight into it and kind of enjoy the story i think i'll finish this in the next two days and then i don't know what i'll pick out after that something within my tbr for april um but yeah i'm just gonna make some food and i'll read for about half an hour or so I'm home now from work. It is 5.17 p.m. I read up to page 255. So I've read... What was I up to when I started speaking to you guys when I was on my lunch break? I was on page 231. So I read just over 20 pages of this on my lunch break. I've only got like 100 and only like 130 pages left i think so i might will i finish this tonight no that's kind of i might i might finish this tonight should i do it i also don't need to wash my hair tonight so i definitely have the time to finish this tonight i think let's do it and then i can start a new book tomorrow which will be so much fun okay guys goal for today complete this um i'm just gonna sit down and read for a little bit i'm gonna have some chocolate this is off topic guys i just need to talk about this no one does chocolate like new zealand does again off topic but we just need to talk about this for one minute if you ever have the pleasure of coming to new zealand and trying whitaker's chocolate or if you live in australia i'm sure you know i just think in my humble opinion it is the best chocolate like it's so creamy and it's just i don't know it tastes like real chocolate it's so good when i was in the states 
September last year. And like, don't get me wrong, I like, I love Reese's peanut butter and stuff like that, but like Hershey's and like American chocolate just tasted like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if you like it. It was fine. I was just like, I don't know, very processed, very sugary, not like chocolatey like this, but not dark chocolate. Just like, I don't know how they do it. It's so tasty. And it comes in a gold wrapper. It's just absolutely divine. Okay, so I'm back from the gym now. It is 10 to 9 p.m. And I'm up to, where is it? I'm up to chapter 31 of Guild, so page 303. So I've only got like 80, I think 80 more pages to go. So I'll definitely finish this tonight. I'm just gonna have my dinner now and then I'll do some more reading before bed. And I'll definitely finish it because it's super interesting what's going on. Like I said, this book is not boring one bit. It gets straight into the plot, straight into the thick of it. So if you are in a bit of a book slump, this would definitely be a great book to kind of pick you back up. Um, hi <laughs> Cooper. So I don't know if you could hear my dog, but anyway, I'm gonna eat my dinner now and I'll speak to you guys soon. Hello, so it is just quarter past 5 p.m. Can this focus? Yeah, it's just quarter past 5 p.m. I just got home from the office and I immediately got changed into my pajamas. It's so cold and so windy outside today, like it is freezing. Um, so a bit of a reading update. I finished Guild yesterday. So I read quite a lot of pages yesterday. How many? You know, I'll count it when I'm editing the video, hopefully, if I remember. <laughs> but anyways, I read quite a good chunk yesterday. Like, I think I read 130 pages yesterday or 150 pages. No, I remember. I read 20 pages when I read during my lunch break and then I read 130 pages, just over 130 pages yesterday when I got home from work. So I read 150 pages yesterday. So it was a very good reading day for me considering I was in the office quite busy and I also went to the gym damn okay go me <laughs> um I think I'm gonna rate this a 4.25 I thoroughly enjoyed it I thought it was super fast-paced super interesting I can sense some good character development happening however like I said earlier in my video this is definitely R18 even the author left a note saying where is it she said, it's not intended for anyone under 18 years of age. So listen to Raven Kennedy. Definitely has some darker subjects and stuff like that. But nonetheless, it's a really good fantasy romance. And the ending, it ended on a cliffhanger. And luckily for me, I do have the second book, Glint. And I also have the third book, Gleam, waiting for me on my bookshelf. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but I probably won't start it until next month just because I'm really trying to stick to my TBR for April so I'm really just not trying to sway so far I'm doing really good so I just really want to complete like at least 80% of the books on my TBR and not sway away from them very happy with that super good book and to be honest with you guys today I'm not in a huge reading mood I think because it's so gloomy I kind of just want to lay on the couch and like watch a movie, maybe like catch up on some YouTube. There's a few YouTube videos I want to catch up on and I kind of want to have a nap. <laughs> and then when my fiance gets home, I think we're going to get like a takeout, maybe like a Thai takeout mm. and maybe watch the Peaky Blinders, watch a movie or something. And I'll probably do my reading just before bed, but I think I'm going to read on my Kindle. Yeah. I think I'll read something on my Kindle just because I'm not super in the mood for reading and it's usually just because I can't be bothered like doing the physical act of reading you know when you're tired 
Um, so I'll probably just read on my Kindle before bed. I don't know which book. I've got so many books in my Kindle now because of Kindle Unlimited. So I'll see how I feel tonight. And yeah, I'm just gonna chill out and I'll update you guys when I do some more reading. everyone so yesterday i did not do much reading at all i read like 10 pages yesterday <laughs> i read 10 pages of his and hers by alice feeney just before bed and then i was out like a light um yeah it was just one of those days i watched tv which i don't i'm not a tv person like at all but every now and then if i'm like watching a good tv series then i will watch that show so right now i'm watching peaky blinders i'm on season three i think i'm actually nearly finished season three and it's so good so 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 good um yeah, but anyways yeah not much reading done at all yesterday currently friday quarter past one in the afternoon i am working from home today and normally i can read a bit more when working from home but today has been pretty busy um i've read about 24 pages kind of just during my lunch break and it's really really good by the way like this kind of just gets straight into it I haven't read a psychological thriller since last year, which is kind of crazy because I read a lot of them last year and I really love that genre. It's just so fun, super fast paced. I just ran out of milk, so instead of going to buy milk, I'm just going to go to the coffee shop because there's one like a minute walk from my apartment and they make really nice coffee. So I'm going to go get some coffee, sit down and do some more reading just because I don't have any like meetings or anything super important to do this afternoon. So gonna do some reading <laughs> and then I'll do a bit more work but yeah let's go morning everyone happy saturday so it's the last day of the how much i realistically read in a week video um i just made myself a cup of coffee mm -hmm. it is currently 9 12 a.m so yesterday i only read about 59 pages i'm currently now on page ooh, i'm now on page 69 of his and hers so i read 59 pages because i was on page 10 when i spoke to you guys yesterday morning so i've actually decided to pick up another book and just kind of read two books at once because i'm not in the mood to read a psychological thriller this morning i'm just not feeling it today so i've picked up another book that is actually on my april tbr and that is icebreaker by hannah grace this has been on my tbr for like three months now but this is officially on my april tbr i don't know too much about it i just know that she is like a figure skater and he's an ice hockey player and i think her ice skating partner they want to go off to like the olympics he gets injured and then this guy steps into place even though he's not even a figure skater he's an ice hockey player and that's kind of all i know i think i also know that it's mostly like smut no plot which is not normally something i read but hey i'll give it a go and i might like it we don't know this book is super highly rated so maybe it's like one of the best books within this genre we'll see we'll find out <laughs> Okay. 
perfect so reading update so far today i've read 110 pages so i'm now on chapter 13 of icebreaker so i've read quite a bit this morning i'm just gonna go take my dog for a little walkie walk um <laughs> i am just gonna softly dnf this book i'm gonna come back to it i promise because i really want to finish every book i start this month but and it's not bad like so far it's feeling like a three star for me it's not bad at all it's just um sorry there's something in my mouth it's just a bit too surface level kind of shallow for me just at the minute and i want something with a bit more girth <laughs> so i'm just gonna softly dnf this and uh, by the way i'm actually recording two videos at once so if you see this you might see that i've already started another video in the same setting anyway i'm gonna pick up magnolia parks by jessa hastings this is going to be a reread for me i've already read this book before and i absolutely love it it's a five star book for me and i like they're both these are both romances right but this one just has a bit more substance for me i think the writing is just really really fantastic in my opinion i love it there's so many wonderful quotes and passages in this book so the reason i'm going to be rereading it is so i can underline and tab it because i just love this book i read it over a year ago and i want to jump back into this world and i'm so excited to be reading this Hey guys, reading update. I'm now on page 61 of Magnolia Parks. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? I've already started to tab it. Really enjoying the reading experience. I think I'm going to stop reading for tonight because I'm actually going to edit this video and get it up later tonight. And then my family and I are going to watch a movie. So I don't think I'm going to do any more reading today. So I wrote down how much I've read each day of the week and I've counted the total up. So on Sunday, when I first started this challenge, I read 106 pages. Monday, I read 11 pages. Tuesday, I read 120 pages. Wednesday, 150 pages. Thursday, only 10 pages. Friday, 59 pages. And then today I read 171 pages. So the total is 627 pages in the last week, which kind of makes sense because typically I read about like eight books a month. So I would say that number kind of equates to like two books, even though I read like one full book and then a bunch of other books in between. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of gave you insight into how much I read as someone that does work a full-time job. And I actually do feel like I do read quite a lot for someone that does work a full-time job. And I will say I am very lucky that I get to work two days a week from home and that I live so close to where I work. So I don't spend a lot of time commuting. Although I think if I commuted, I'd probably be reading on like public transport and stuff. So anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.